Direct Mail Monday. It is February 228-22. 228-22. Say it backwards. 228-22. Last day of February 2022. It's through Cyprus here. I believe we are live. As usual, Facebook Live, uh, whatever they call this thing, uh, producer. Causes all kinds of tricks and confusion, but I believe we're live. And let's turn to a couple of pieces I received recently in the mail. You know, a previous, uh, uh, somebody who lived here previously, uh, clearly, if you ask me, was a registered member of one of our two major entrenched corrupt political parties here in the U.S., neither of which, of course, I would ever be associated with. Uh, however, uh, he seems to uh, still, for some reason, never change his address, I guess, at least to this thing. Uh, receives a ton of mail from uh, the, here's the return address, the National, can you see that? The National Republican Congressional Committee, whatever that is, in Washington, D.C. The National Republican Congressional Committee. So I guess it's supposedly, ostensibly, all about Congress. However, there's a lot of stuff uh, a couple of years ago when there was the presidential election. There was a lot of stuff about the president. Uh, but anyway, I digress. So here are a couple of ways. Now, they are uh, using uh, some very sharp consultant or consultants, someone like me who is an expert in direct mail. And the first rule of direct mail, as I share often, is to get the piece open. It doesn't matter how much time and money and effort and expertise you put into whatever's on the inside, if the piece of mail doesn't get open, right? So that's your job number one. And here's two creative ways, or really tried and true ways, to get your direct mail piece opened. Number one, I'll show you in, in order of simplicity, is just by saying right there on the envelope, check enclosed. And then they give it the old, oh, postmaster, deliver to address the only. As if the postmaster... I don't know, delivers to somebody else. I mean, they just put the mail in the mailbox. When's the last time a postmaster really cared about delivering a bulk paid bulk mail? This is not a, you know, FedEx signature, uh, certified mail, you request a signature. This, this is just a piece of bulk mail. This is a cheap piece of mail. I'm not, I'm not uh, I don't believe, I know it didn't happen in our case, that the postmaster really cares uh, not to mention, I can tell you it didn't happen in our case because the deliverer to the addressee does not live here. And we've been here for coming up on four years. So it's been a while, if ever, that this person with this name and our address ever lived here. So number one, uh, you know it's complete nonsense that the old postmaster delivered addressee only. However, what does that do psychologically? It makes it seem as if this is something important. Wow, deliver only to the addressee. This must be something personal and important. And and saying check and close. Ooh ah. Now, you ask me if you if you ask me to make a mistake by having the window envelope not showing a check, not showing some kind of a you know background like a check has uh, that is tamper proof and and uh, forgery proof kind of stuff, and saying pay to the order of on here. That would help me believe there's a check enclosed. Otherwise. What the heck? Check and close. Are people going to throw this out? If their name is on a piece of mail, it says check and close, they're likely to open your piece of mail. Uh, I, of course, in this case, no, even if the check was made out to me, National Republican, whatever the heck, no interest. Uh, however, uh, here's piece number two. This one, also using a window envelope. Now, this is smart. When you use a window envelope, you can save yourself a lot of printing on the envelope by just having it show through. And this use a number of tactics, of strategies, of, uh, of things to include in your mail piece to attempt to get it open. Number one, they're saying this is an official project of this National Republican Congressional Committee, whatever that means. And this is the truth about a Republican survey. I just have to laugh because if it's sent to someone who I'm guessing is likely to be a Republican, getting all this mail about Republicans. Um, surveys sent only to Republicans? 
surveying the truth about Republicans. You're really going to get the truth if you only survey members of a certain group. Like I happen to be a rabid. In fact, you can. I'm wearing a shirt today, New York Mets T-shirt. So I'm a rabid New York Mets fan. You're not going to get the truth about Mets fans from me. I'm a Mets fan. Am I going to say things like, well, I'm an idiot to be a fan of a team that loses so spectacularly, that has a franchise so miserably run, present ownership excluded. We now have the most uh, wealthiest owner in the history of professional sports owning New York Mets and spending money like crazy. But before then, we had all kinds of cheapskate, tight wad, not spending any money, not doing anything to really put a winning team on the field. And the team still had a few good years over the years, but uh, it's been a while. And it's uh, especially compared to the other professional baseball team in town, the New York Yankees, who have won more world championships than any baseball team. And uh, certainly recently, they had a lot of success and won a lot of World Series while the Mets keep sputtering around. So are you going to get the truth? out of me about Mets, about Mets fans, not likely. You're going to really get the truth about Republicans when you survey only Republicans? Not likely. However, supposedly this is the truth about, <laughs> I still laugh when I think about it, the truth about Republican survey. And then you see the, the number of uh, techniques they're using here. They're saying this is, the document is registered to the individual name below and must be accounted for during processing. Sure. Like this is some official survey or official voting by mail fraud. Talk about a way to induce and encourage more fraud in the world. You put voting in by take our our already insecure voting system and let anybody just vote through the mail for any reason at all. <laughs> just mail out ballots indiscriminately. Uh, but I digress. So this is a register the individual name below. And then look at all this kind of stuff to make you believe that. It has a registration number with all these digits as verification requested. It has all these kind of numbers here at the bottom. Now, I don't know if I examined some of the other pieces mailed out. I wonder how many had this exact same number, how many had this exact same number, these exact same numbers. Who knows? Uh, but it again says registered to and then the name here. So they're trying to make this so official so personal that gee you just have to open this up okay so are you doing any kind of this stuff with your mail or are you saying i mailed stuff out and gee steve direct mail doesn't work because you just mailed it in an envelope and hope people opened it or just uh felt uh privileged felt uh, entitled that just because you spend time and money and effort on a direct mailing uh direct mail pieces that you're entitled to have people open them doesn't work that way, right? I'm tossing these as I toss pretty much everything I've ever gotten from this thing, including I remember a couple of years ago, it was hot and heavy during the presidential election. I was getting stuff from, from Donald Trump Jr. and from uh, all kinds of Republicans I couldn't even name, congressmen, senators, who know, you know, not like Donald Trump Jr., not, not a congressman. This is a congressional committee, something or other, supposedly. So anyway, a few... Um, Lessons here. Number one, name your your organization. Name name is so important when you're naming a product, you're naming a service, you're naming a company. The name is of, of humongous importance. If you want to boost your sales and lower your advertising and marketing costs, you want to have a great name. So calling this thing the National Republican Congressional Committee, brilliant. It just sounds so official. Right, so that helps to get the mail piece open and helps get people to trust you and send you money when you you sound so official like that, right? And then you have all this personalization on here about how it's registered to the individual name below the boop, a boop, a boop, a boop, right? So are you putting this much effort and energy and expertise into just getting the mail piece open? You're not even. Gonna, I'm not going to open them. I'm not intrigued personally, but uh, perhaps a Republican would be they receive this maybe even a democrat would be if they like democrats think the their enemy is the republicans like they're all the same of course like republican democrat any any kind of big government uh congress person or whatever it's all them against the people they they team up on everything unless you think somehow there's a difference it's so such tiny difference between those two quote parties uh but what they have in common is mind-bogglingly tremendous 
right, is always the two-tiered system of the government versus the people. Big, big federal government. Now, local government can be great, but our federal government here in the U.S. is a mess, and I suppose there are others that are a mess all around the world. So I'm not intrigued about any of that stuff, but I was a, if I was a member of that group, if I was a Republican, maybe even a Democrat, I'd be interested to see what's in. All that stuff is going to help me to open it up, especially if that's my name on the thing and it says over and over, this is so special and personal to you and important and it's registered and, oh, ah, we care about you so much. So if you want help with this or any other of the many, many, many techniques you can use to get your mail opened by the person you're sending it to so they have any possibility in the world of sending you money, Go to helpfromsteve.com and I'll help you out or stick around here and just uh, take your time. That's the quick way to do it. If you want to go the slow way, just keep watching my Direct Mail Monday videos or listening or reading or however you're getting these. And over time, you'll get a lot of help, a lot of general ideas about how to make Direct Mail work for you. Again, if you want the shortcut, you want the specific ideas and you want them quickly, go to helpfromsteve.com, get on my calendar. We'll talk. I'll help you out how to make money with Direct Mail or anything else. It has to do with advertising, marketing, sales, the getting of revenue into your business. Okay, We'll make a deal. You be the expert on providing your product or service. I'm the expert on how to get more customers, clients, patients, members, more money coming in the door. Great partnership. Hit me up at helpfromsteve.com if you want. That'll do it for Direct Mail Monday. I'll be back here again tomorrow. Oh, I got a doozy of a rant tomorrow cooking for you. Not sure exactly how I'll script them out or anything, but I have an idea, a little piece of my mind about kind of a major, not even kind of, major story that's been in the news recently. And I will share that with you tomorrow because it'll be topical Tuesday. I will catch you then. Thanks for being here today. Over and out.